Section 170 of Childhood's Favorites and Fairy Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Childhood's Favorites and Fairy Stories by Various Authors. Section 170 Battle of the Monkey and the Crab. A monkey and a crab once met when going round a mountain. The monkey had picked up a persimmon seed, and the crab had a piece of toasted rice cake. The monkey, seeing this, and wishing to get something that could be turned to good account at once, said, Pray, exchange that rice cake for this persimmon seed. The crab, without a word, gave up his cake, and took the persimmon seed, and planted it. At once it sprung up, and soon became a tree so high one had to look far up to see it. The tree was full of persimmons, but the crab had no means of climbing it, so he asked the monkey to scramble up and get the fruit for him. The monkey got up on a limb of the tree and began to eat the persimmons. The unripe ones he threw at the crab, but all the ripe and good ones he put in his pouch. The crab under the tree thus got his shell badly bruised, and only by good luck escaped into his hole, where he lay distressed with pain, and not able to get up. Now, when the relatives and household of the crab heard how matters stood, they were surprised and angry, and declared war, and attacked the monkey, who, leading forth a numerous following, bade defiance to the other party. The crabs, finding themselves unable to meet and cope with this force, became still more exasperated and enraged, and retreated into their hole, and held a council of war. Then came a rice mortar, a pestle, a bee, and an egg, and together they devised a deep-laid plot to be avenged. First they requested that peace be made with the crabs, and thus they induced the king of the monkey to enter their hole unattended, and seated him on the hearth. The monkey, not suspecting any plot, took the hibashi, or poker, to stir up the slumbering fire, when bang went the egg, which was lying hidden in the ashes and burned the monkey's arm. Surprised and alarmed, he plunged his arm into the pickle tub in the kitchen to relieve the pain of the burn. Then the bee, which was hidden near the tub, stung him sharply in his face, already wet with tears. Without waiting to brush off the bee, and howling bitterly, he rushed for the back door. But just then, some seaweed entangled his legs and made him slip. Then down came the pestle, tumbling on him from a shelf, and the mortar too, came rolling down on him from the roof of the porch and broke his back, and so weakened him that he was unable to rise up. Then out came the crabs in a crowd, and, brandishing on high their pinches, they pinched the monkey so sorely that he begged them for forgiveness and promised never to repeat his meanness and treachery. End of section 170 Battle of the Monkey and the Crab Recording by Ross Clement